again, and welcome back to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. As always, I'm your host, Litecoin Leader. Today, we're talking all Coinopoly. Once again, we have plenty of coins to still wrap up to all this contest. A lot of coins to go through for the month of July. Uh, we're getting there, though. We're almost, uh, I'd say we're about three quarters of the way through. We have about eight or ten coins to go. Still plenty of time to join the contest and join LitecoinLeader.com and, and get involved. You can get caught up throughout the month and find out what all 35 coins are. Uh, and then August comes the time to submit to the contest and win the trip to Myrtle Beach. So we hope you join us there and I hope to see you there soon. But in the meantime, we have an interesting coin to talk about today. It's a coin I actually, one of the very first videos I ever did, I mentioned this coin and I will link that video for probably humor's sake um, as a reference uh, a little later in the video. But for now, I just want to talk about it. It's a platform coin. It's a project I'm very interested in. It's gone up and down like a lot of coins this year. But I think it's in a good spot to take another look at and see if it's worth um, maybe an investment, not financial advice, or maybe just to look at on your own uh, as far as getting involved with this project. Many other projects are getting involved with it too. So stay tuned to find out what this coin is and where I place it on the board. Just a quick reminder that nothing in this video is considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Seek out your own advice and do your own diligence, do your own research. As always, go, we go back to the bear all coinopoly board to get an idea of where all the pieces fit in. Again, there's 35 pieces. We are starting to wrap things up in July. It's been a lot of pieces, a lot of uh, coins that we've covered. But today we're focused on zone three, which is the top of the board. So zone three, and that is the what we call the platforms. These are Predominantly, I think almost exclusively, all the coins that are at the top of the board here are platforms and have their own blockchains. So today's one is a coin that I've touched on. One of my very first videos, I will provide it to a link. It'll probably be humorous to watch what my videos were like just three months ago. But this is one of the first coins I ever mentioned, and that was the coin Cosmos or Atom. So that's the platform that we're going to be looking at today. It's a top 30-ish coin. It's been in the top 20. It's been around for at least three years, and it's been, you know, more than that. As far, three years ago is when it debuted onto an ICO, but it's been in the works for several years. Uh, we're going to talk about what Atom represents, what it's doing, and all the different aspects that uh, make it attractive as far as uh, get, earning a spot on the board. So going back where I started a few months ago, Atom or Cosmos is the Internet of Blockchains. It is meant to be a platform for other systems to build on, other projects to build upon, but it also is meant to connect all different blockchains and make them relevant to one another. That is the next breakthrough that's coming in the cryptocurrency space, in the blockchain spaces. We have all these silos of blockchains. We have the Ethereum blockchain. We have Cosmos. We have Polkadot. We have Cardano. All these different blockchains, and now we need to make them talk to one another. That is one of the fundamental things that Cosmos is working on, and it cannot be under understated or, or underemphasized how important that is. Once you have this universal translator between all these different blockchains, that's going to be it. I mean, that's going to be like, okay, you can make whatever blockchain you want, and then as long as you conform to these standards, then everybody can talk to you, and it's going to be a great thing. There's going to be huge advances in the space once again. So just walking through Cosmos's homepage, you can see all the different things they're working on. Uh, we've got over 240 apps and services. I call it 250. There's 250 projects living on the Cosmos space. Um, they're they're providing marketplace and a custodian. They're 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 providing the security and the governance as well. They also involve staking. And there's also working on interchain staking, which is mentioned later, which is, means that you can stake on various different chains all at once. You can also swap tokens and collect collectibles. That's your NFT market. Um, liquidity, that's your DeFi market. They're working on that as well. Adding Ethereum and Bitcoin sounds simple, but it's not easy because it's a proof of work. It's a different style of blockchain. Adding them to the network, there's they adopt a hub and spoke style of a network. Uh, let's see if I can find a diagram of it. So I was able to find a reasonable image for the hub and the spoke or hub and zone uh, architecture that they use. But what really matters is that like 
Atom is providing all these inter-blockchains. And if you dig further into Cosmos and what they're all about, you get all these different features that they have. Starting from the top of their feature page, you have staking, interchain accounts. That's accounts where you can go across the different accounts and use what they call the, the IBC. And that's the inter-blockchain communications protocol. Again, that's how they're building across different platforms. And they what they did was, starting back at the beginning for Adam. Adam started back in 2014 uh, by Jay Kwan. Uh, he wrote the white paper in 2016. It was launched in 2017 and 2018 with an ICO. So it's been around for quite a while. Um, Jay Kwan's since moved on, but the team that's still there is still working for on, on all this different roadmap. So you have the voting, the staking, you have a gravity dex, the building a decentralized exchange, and that's going to uh, be based on Tendermint. So Tendermint is the foundation of what they build, how they build their blockchains. And that's been used to build many other block blockchains that have since launched and gone separate ways. Matic, which is still on the uh, Cosmos blockchain, is there. Uh, Terra and the Binance Smart Chain, all those started on the Atomic blockchain. So Tendermint is a very, very strong protocol that's used, and it's that's the foundation that allows them to do the, the hub and spoke and talking to the different blockchains. So the more people that use a protocol like Tendermint that Cosmos developed and, and, and owns, and they, they own it, but they fully shared it, knowing that by making it open source, it'll be adopted much more rapidly. So that's what they're working. They're also working on what they call Gravity Bridge. That is basically just getting like, other blockchains connected, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and so on. So there's a lot of things going on. The interchain staking that's staking across different um, platforms and being validators across different platforms by using Atom. There's a lot going on. So, so big picture here. Atom is a platform blockchain that has 250 plus projects on it and also has the tools and hooks in it to talk to different blockchains and create a standard across all different blockchains for them to talk to one another. And it creates an ecosystem where people can build upon it and grow further and further. Uh, here is a picture of the Cosmos ecosystem and you can see here's matic right here top top and front and center you have ren you have band protocol um kava should be on here kava's right there you have binance smart chain you have a lot of big players in this space you have zil swap for for zilica uh, there's a lot of good projects that are on this chart and there could be more and more as they build out um, and connect with other networks like Polkadot and Cardano and create these hooks through the Tendermint protocol. So Cosmos is an overlooked platform, but it's got a huge amount of things going on. A couple of things, I went back and looked at both. This is a great video from, from Guy just to refresh you where Cosmos was back in April and all the different things going on. Let me go quickly over what uh, Elsie mentioned. Um, there's validators for each network that can be built. Uh, Cosmos has a a kit, a software development kit for other people to build projects or new blockchains out there. And that about summarizes where Co Cosmos is at. As far as looking at other news that's impactful for Atom, Grayscale announced back in January that they were adding more trusts for investment vehicles. So one of them that they mentioned, they, I mean, these are big players, EOS, Cardano, Monero, Cosmos, Polkadot, and Aave. So Cosmos is going to be, they, they, they have registered a fund to invest in Cosmos. They have not made it out to the public yet as saying, here's how you invest, invest in with us with, for getting into Cosmos. But it's coming because Grayscale has registered it. So it's getting a lot of attention. Uh, we'll look at the price action. We'll look at where it stands on the chart in a little bit. But Adam is a top 50 project. It's been the top 20 or so. It's been, I think it's still top 30. It gets overlooked a lot because not a lot of people talk about it. But it's still one of the major players out there as far as a blockchain standard that's growing rapidly. One more article to wrap up the news for Adam or Cosmos. And I'll include all these links in the description. But... Um, this article was rather interesting back in October. Future of staking is going into hyperdrive. This summarizes the interchain staking and the resultant security and the development that comes from having the Cosmos software development kit and the, the IBC, which is, again, the, 
the inter-blockchain communications protocol. You don't need to know these terms. You just know that Atom is making things very easy for people to develop new projects, new platforms, and for all of them to talk to one another in the current Cosmos ecosystem. So Cosmos is a its very under the radar for being such a, a prominent project. It's top 50, and people just don't talk about it. So I really like the project. Just It's my personal opinion, just one guy's opinion on the Internet. But I think that Atom is poised to have yet another run-up, but let's take a look at the charts to see where we might see some price action coming. So taking a look at Adam on the different scales and different trading view charts I like to look at. I look at Adam against BTC and also Adam against the US dollar. So I started with Coinbase and I wanted to focus on, the, on this past year to date. And so what I see here is that going back to the beginning of 2021 when I first really was getting interested in Adam I saw this big this large cup and handle forming um, I see that it, it bottomed out here in January when it was you know well whatever price it was back in January because this is BTC but I see a five wave Elliott wave I see it going up one down two up three big down about 50 percent wave four and then final push up to wave five that ended in May. And then it came back and Elliott Wave often does, it does an ABC retrace, which is a down up down pattern. And the, the second down is a little bit further. So now I'm starting to see an upwards trend again, and the things are starting to turn upwards. So in the big picture of things, I think that you can see Elliott Wave is what's known as a fractal. It's a pattern that repeats over and over. You zoom in, you get the same pattern, you zoom out, you get the same pattern. So as I zoom out, I see this for this one through five is being a wave, a giant wave one, and this ABC a giant wave two. So now a giant wave three should be coming, if things play out this way, which takes us to one, uh, 160 to 260 percent the size of this, of this ABC wave. So that would put us somewhere around this area. Which, so let me draw a line over there real quick. I'll take a quick measurement just to give you an idea of where I think that this is capable growing to so if I draw a measurement there from where it is today measure go from here where it is today up to here I'm gonna draw it over this way so I can see the numbers 150 percent gain so we can go up one and a half times where it's at so it looks like it's um, 38,000 sats I always have to read sats to 994,000 sats if I'm reading that right decimal places are going to get me but uh, 0 0.00038 Bitcoin to 0 0.0094 Bitcoin. That's more than double, so that's one and a half times larger. Yes. So the price uh, going to the U.S. dollar, looking at that chart, the U.S. dollar wise, the atoms in the 12 to 13 dollar range as we sit today. Uh, it's it's July 5th. I don't know when I'm going to air this because I'm traveling, but so sitting here on July 5th, looking at the chart, we're sitting at about 12 and a half dollars uh, and putting in a a Fibonacci level here to try to extend it out to see where we're going to go uh, for what this could be a, a giant wave too. We can take it to 1.6 to 1, 1, 2.6. So the hardest part is trying to predict where wave three is going to happen. But if you can do it, wave three is your biggest impulse. So your wave three goes up to 2.6, which could take Adam up to $60. So I think $40 is more reasonable. We were in the 30s before, not too long ago, back in May. So I think 40 to 60, but the problem now is that it's not really a problem. But once you get above this, I think if we go to Adam, and I'm going to pull up its all-time high. Let me do that real quick. So jumping over to CoinGecko, here's the price. It's 1280. I'm looking for its all-time high of 31 dollars in May. So 31. So I think that we could get to 41 on this chart. That is a, a reasonable number. And if the market surges, it could go to 60. So now we're looking for context. If Adam goes up three to maybe even five X, what does that mean? Uh, looking at one last chart here, you can see again, like looking at the monthly scale, that you know the peak was back in March in the 32. But how do we how do we characterize an Adam that could go up three or five X? Well, Adam right now is coin number. Where did it go? I think it was in the 30s. Here we go. Coin number 31. Its market cap is two point, call it two point eight billion dollars. So 
let's call it a 5x. If it goes up five times, what would that would be $14 billion. What is in the $14 billion range? Well, polka dot. I don't know if Adam could be comparable to polka dot, but I think that's a good high-end metric. How about a 3x? So a 2.8, now you're looking at 8.4. So what's in the 8.4 range? Don't have to scroll down too much. Chainlink is rated 8. Solana is at 9. Litecoin is at 9. So I think that Adam could get back in the top 20 again. Uh, could see a 3 to 5x from here. That seems very reasonable and practical here. If they hit their milestones, if they get their IBC going, if they get other products working with it, uh, get their decks launched, the Gravity decks. There's a lot of things for them to do, but the upside is clearly here. And I think a 3 to 5x in the not too distant future, hard to predict time, and this is not financial advice, but the charts are saying a 3 to 5x for Adam is certainly attainable. And there we go. With the coin today is Cosmos or Adam. Uh, it, again, it's a product that I've, I've been looking at throughout the year. It's a product that gets overlooked, but it's, it's a platform coin. It's a top 40 coin. It's been a top 20 before. It has a lot of value, a lot of upside. Over 250 projects are running now on the Cosmos platform, including Matic. Uh, it's worked with Terra. It's worked with Binance, uh, Kava, and Band, the DeFi sector. There's a lot of things going on in this project. And they're working to be the universal translator between blockchains, as are a few other projects. But I think that they're forming good partnerships in the cryptocurrency space and the blockchain space that they're going to stick around and they're going to grow. So with all that said, let's take a look at where I have the rating for Adam today. Once again, as we look at the rating for Adam this week, uh, we'll go back to the bear Aquanopoly we'll review where the space goes. We're, getting, we're in zone three. Which are platforms and Adam get top right space on the board uh, up in the upper right corner, the little section. Uh, that's where Cosmos or Adam get the board. So, quick summary of the coin rating system. Again, a one to five system where the weakest five is the strongest is an average project. So, what am I going to give Cosmos or Adam? Good question. Yeah, it's a project I like, so I think it's above average. It's a platform, so of course I like it a lot. Um, is it dominant coin? Is it uh, front of mind for a lot of projects? No. Uh, but does it have a good upside on both on the charts and also in the near term? And does it have good uh, roadmap and adoption? I think so, yes. Uh, it needs a lot of things for it to fall in the right spots to really align to be a huge success. But I think it's an above average project and has a strong uh, uh, likelihood of remaining in the top 30 and growing from here. So I give an above average rating, slightly above average of three and a half out of five. Uh, I, th I, th I'm, again, I'm probably going to compare these later on and see, you know, all the three and a halves, all the fours, all the threes and see how they all line up. But for me, Adam has always been, I like, I've always liked platforms. You can get exposure to multiple projects for the price of one coin. So that's a plus to me. So I give Adam a three and a half out of five. Please leave a comment and feedback on what you think about the rating. And uh, we'll go from here and we'll build upon the rest of the coins and then wait until August and September when we do a full retrospective on all the coins and the ratings and what comes next for Allcoinopoly. So, but I'll close for today on the rating for Adam and Cosmos at three and a half out of five. And that'll do it for today. There's your rating on Cosmos. It's a tough one to rate. It's definitely above average. It's not quite a five because there's so many things on its roadmap that have to go right. Uh, but I think somewhere between three and a half to four is probably the right number for Adam or Cosmos. It's got a lot of upside. It's getting overlooked. Uh, I love projects that have upside and are just, for whatever reason, not in favor yet because the news have, hasn't popped. So it's the right time to pounce in my mind. Not financial advice, just one guy on the internet just sharing his thoughts on this particular project. But now you know where it goes on the board. Write it down. Be sure to join us at LikeCoinLeader.com because there's plenty of time to play the contest. Um, but we've got about seven or eight more coins to wrap up, and they're all going to be announced by the end of July. And then the window opens in August for all everyone who's a subscriber – to litecoinleader.com. If you have subscribed to litecoinleader.com before the end of July, you are eligible then to enter the contest for August and win the trip for up to four people in the U.S. to come to Myrtle Beach at our meetup, have dinner with me, talk crypto, have some fun. Probably between Labor Day and Thanksgiving, we'll figure out a time that works for everybody, but that's the contest. I hope you join us there. I hope you join litecoinleader.com. I hope you enjoyed the video today. So with all that said, I'm going to close the drawer on the bureau, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah.